good evening friends welcome to rs channel so today i want to tell about black chu chota nagpur black chu facts some important facts first of all i want to explain about what is black chu you can see here a picture plateau is a flat elevated landform that rises sharply above the surroundings area at least one side plateau occur on every continent and take up a third of the earth's land they are one of the four major landforms along with mountains plains and hills this is the plateau so just you see the above picture here in green color northern plains in blue color himalayan range and here the south side of india indian desert it is in must blue uh, sorry yellow color and come down to the south western ghats it is in green color in mustard color the narrow line they divided from the deccan plateau and eastern ghats this is the main divisions how it surrounded with beautiful appearance once you see in this picture so what we are going to discuss now about chota nagpur plateau where you are seeing the northern plains in green color there it is located now please come down here i want to show on the map yes please see this picture down picture chota nagpur plateau eastern side we can see here yes this is the location of chota nagpur plateau why it is called chota nagpur chota nagpur plateau got its name as nagpur from the nagavashis who ruled the region of quite a time and chota which means a small from a village name chota located at the outgrowth of ranchi where an old fort of the nagavasis ruler exist so that's what we call the name become very famous chota nagpur and because it is a plateau so we call chota nagpur plateau which soil is found in chota nagpur plateau this is a second fact and before before of that i would like to discuss where it is located and which type of the soil and some other fact i want to tell chota nagpur plateau is a in eastern india already i have shown to you which covers much of jharkhand state as well as adjacent parts of odisha west bengal bihar chatisgarh and indo gangetic plains lie to the north and east of the plateau and the basin of mahanand the south 
the total area of chota nagpur plateau approximately 65000 square kilometer my dear friends already i told to you about indo gangetic plain i have shown to you before this picture indo gangetic plain that is the northern plains we can see here in this picture so the same thing here and some other facts i want to tell about this plateau which soil is found in chota nagpur plateau chota nagpur plateau store house of mineral resources such as mica bauxite copper limestone iron ore and coal because the damodara valley is rich in coal and it is considered as the prime center of coking coal in the country this is the prime center of coking coal in the country so it is very rich in minerals so this type of the soil is available in this plateau and it is very famous rule of india this is in the north eastern part of the indian peninsula once you see here the upper part is north and east north east part of indian peninsula and includes the region of jharkhand adjoining chatisgarh and west bengal since the region is rich in many mineral resources like iron ore how i told it is called the rur of india it is also known as the mineral heart land of india so i hope you understand so what we discuss today about first of all about what is the definition of plateau in geography plateau is a flat elevated landform rises sharply above the surrounding area flat elevated landform plateau so how it is actually here in this picture i have shown only how it is divided colorfully deccan plateau only i have shown but the nagpur chota nagpur plateau i have shown in some other picture so actually plateaus divided in this way total how many plateaus please check my dear friends 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 total how many plateaus are there in india total 7 plateaus that is bundelkhand plateau malwa plateau deccan plateau karnataka plateau bagelkhand plateau telangana plateau dada karnya plateau shillong plateau so we discussed today about chota nagpur plateau thank you